Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, I have another nail video, and this is something I have never tried before, but I am super excited. This is a powder dip nail set from Double Dip Nails, and I'm going to give this a go for the first time. I've been curious about it. They did send this to me, and I'm very thankful because... This has kind of been intimidating, but their system has, it looks like everything I need to have my manicure come out looking pretty decent. So I won't keep you guys waiting. If you wanna see me attempt to do powder dip nails for the first time using the double dip nail system, stay tuned and keep on watching. So this is pretty much everything that came in the set. So these are basic, this is a tray that you can use whenever you are doing your nails. You can sit your finger on top of it, pour the powder on top of your nail, and then it falls into another little tray that's in it. I thought this was very creative. They also have this little funnel cup, but I saw somebody else kind of doing this and they were just using it with like, acrylic nail tips and this just I'm get it out the box puts well really everything together for you so here is the tray and it comes with these little inserts here so you sit this in top like that and then you just dip your powder scoop your powder like this put your nail pour it on top of your nail versus having to actually dip your nail into the system so into the powder so i thought that was pretty cool probably going to use this these are all of the liquids that you're going to need so this is the base the activator the top and this is also a brush cleaner which i thought was pretty cool that they give you that because one of the biggest things i've watched a lot of videos to make sure i get this right and one of the biggest things they talk about is contaminating your liquids and your powder so they have this brush cleaner that after you brush on your top coat, then you can clean it off here or whatever. So great for that. Then in this bag, I was worried because I thought I was going to have to go buy a buffer and buy a nail file and all of that stuff. Of course, I love this because it is holographic, but it comes with a buffer. It also comes with some extra brushes, the wooden file not file but cuticle pusher a file right there and then even gives you a makeup brush or a powder brush to brush off the excess powder and then you also get I guess this is to help shape your nails interesting lots of goodies in this bag and then last but not least what colors are we working with so they sent a nude hope you guys can see this this is a nude powder and I'll go ahead and open it so it's not quite white it's kind of like an off-white but definitely gonna figure out how to use all of these this one is coastal cabana I did look at this this is so pretty so you can see it is green it has green glitter in it and then this one is called ne whoa, Nebula, and it is purple, but I want to say it has, yeah, if you can see, yes, you can see all the different color flakes in there, so that green is actually going to go with that really pretty. So not a color story that I think I would have picked on my own, but we're going to try it, and I'm going to try to use all three of them just so you can see the difference in the types, because this one has a big kind of chunky glittery consistency this one is a little more smooth and then the clear one is just a straight regular smooth powder so we're gonna go ahead and get started all right so one of the first things that i remember in the instructions was that you need to make sure that you stir up your powders just so that there are no hard areas this is brand new container so there shouldn't be but again I want to follow all the instructions to make sure I have a really 
good experience with my first times. I'm gonna start off with a nail prep pad. This is basically alcohol and fingernail polish remover all in one. I buffed my nails, but again, I just wanna make sure that they are completely free of debris and oils and everything else to make sure that it lasts a long time. Also, I already did my manicure yesterday, so I made sure to push my cuticles back. I did all that stuff that is supposed to help prevent lifting, so we are ready to go. I'm gonna do one nail at a time because I, I just wanna make sure I do this right. So we're gonna start with the base coat. And the biggest thing that I have seen in different videos is you wanna make sure you apply a very very thin coat of this and you also want to make sure your nail is tilted down because you don't want it to run back onto your cuticle we're just going to apply a very very thin coat of the base and then dip it into the color that we want i guess i should figure that out we're going to do clear or natural natural purple purple green we're going to start with the base coat and i'm going to take a tiny tiny bit you can see brushing off and we're just gonna go I'm gonna start at the middle and then push back towards the tip so the towards the edge so that I don't get too much product near my cuticles And another thing that I saw was how they talked about you can always go back and add more, but you can't take away. So start off with a little bit. Get your edges. Then it says dip it in the powder. I am going to use these little trays. I'm going to take a little bit of the powder and we're just going to pour it. Well, that is not gonna whoa, stick a lot. See, this is why I wanted to do one at a time. So this looks like I'm gonna need a lot more. Well, let's try dipping it of the activator. And I did see that you're supposed to stick it in at an angle and then pull it out. So we do have some of the glitter on there. When you do one at a time, you can kind of see like where you need to go back and put some. And it says, wait a few seconds before you use a clean brush to remove the excess powder. Then air dry for 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna brush it into here. Like, so we will definitely put a little more activator to make sure that it can pick up completely. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the second coat of activator. like I kind of want to use one of those brushes that they gave there's nothing on it so we should be fine make sure to get the edges I'm going to pour the first little bit. Go ahead and dip. It says wait a little bit. Yeah, we definitely got more on our fingernail there so happy with that and I probably will not add another coat Ooh, that is coming out pretty already so it doesn't look like we missed any areas so that is coming out pretty already doesn't look like we missed any areas and that's exactly what we want so 
I think we're gonna be good to move on to the next nail. I'm gonna do my purples first, then move to the other colors. We just did it. We went ahead and we dipped because I want to make sure I get all the glitter on here like I have the purple ones. So wait a few seconds, brush off the excess, and then let it dry. Very, very pretty so far. I'm hoping this is actually a natural, like it'll be a white and not like the clear I should have been putting, guess we'll find out. I did see that they said if you get any activator on your skin to go ahead and clean that up because it will stick. I'll lie, I'm gonna try the powder first, stick to what I've been doing. Okay, yes, that is definitely a natural color. Not quite a white, but definitely not. Ooh, hopefully that covers my air bubble that I have under there. So I need to get a little bit more on the edge here. I will be dipping the next one. Just checking the sides, make sure everything looks how I want it. So we are good so far. So now the directions say after you dip, you let it air dry for 30 seconds, and then you apply a coat of the activator and let that air dry for 30 seconds. So we're done with this brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the cleaner bottle. Just let that go ahead and clean itself while we are finishing up. Now we're gonna move to the next step, which is our activator. So now this yellow bottle is our activator and on the back it says step number three. So we're gonna start with what we did first, which is our purple. So activator, it says apply a coat to the entire nail surface. Doesn't say how much, but I guess you wanna make sure you put enough to make sure it goes all the way down and on your edges, seal your edges. Make sure to get around the sides. Is there a such thing as too much activator? I don't know. Just let that set. It says leave it on to air dry for about 30 seconds. So this is what we are working with so far. Pretty cute. That natural color would look so good by itself. 
maybe a little more white, but yeah, I think we're only gonna do that on one nail on the other hand. So after you let this air dry for 30 seconds, then you go ahead and you shape and file them the way you want. And they say if the surface is not smooth, which this isn't because of the glitter, then they just want you to buff it with the buffing brush. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then reapply your activator and use a lint-free wipe or a paper towel to absorb activator residue on your nails and to fill in any gaps that you have, but to clean any gaps that you have between your nails and your cuticles. All right, we have the shaped, buffed, and activated again. So now we are going to move into the final step, which is the top coat, which is going to make them shiny and pretty, and I'm excited. There we have our first top coat. Super, super shiny. And it says to let that sit for about one to three minutes and apply another one. So we will wait and go ahead and do that. And then this hand will be done. And I have to say, I think I like, mm, mm, I think I like this more than doing my gel nails because once this top coat is dry and it doesn't take long that is it you don't have to sit under a lamp or do anything like that and i'm sure you can have so much fun with dipping different color powders and maybe mixing up shades i don't know but i'm kind of excited about this so i am going to switch it up and do different on the colors on my other hand but I'm gonna do that off camera because we don't need to see this whole process again. And then I will show you the final look. All right, so I finished both hands and I have to say, I am honestly very surprised at how easy this was. I did kind of try to cheat and just dip these as opposed to pouring it on top and it did get a little thick. So I had to do a little more filing and shaping and smoothing, but overall, I really like this and I want to get some more colors so I can play around and yeah very easy manicure I think this is gonna last for a long time and I'm really excited that I put tips on because I do think that it looked better that way so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you've been thinking about doing dip nails this is a really easy system so I do suggest getting the beginner kit that has everything in it that you need so you don't have to worry about did I pick up the right things? Do I have everything I need? All that good stuff. So thank you to Double Dip Nails for sending me this kit. I absolutely love it. And I need some more colors. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.